Hi everyone, it's Lisa here again and welcome to my kitchen for my first ever personal vlog. If you haven't caught the first video, I hope you get a chance to see it. It's where I introduce Sahajin, which is a new skin and hair care line that I am launching to the world and that I'm inviting you to really join me in my entrepreneurial journey to see the ups and downs and the behind the scenes. So what is going on right now? Well, the good news is the products are ready, yay! And stay tuned because I will show you a few things towards the end of the video and you'll get a sense of what they look like. But the reality is the products became ready and as I got the box where I started to look at it, if I could really share how I felt in that moment, I felt trepidatious for two reasons, to be honest. I can remember the moment, and I have a picture of it, where I opened the box and the products were all in it. And I was getting text messages from my friends and my family, and, and my sister, you know, was, aren't you so proud, and aren't you so excited? But how I genuinely felt in the moment, as my stomach was turning, was I hope this is all gonna be okay. We've had a tough time in the manufacturing process. I've had a really hard time with my, manufactur my manufacturing partner. I've learned what it's like to be a small fish in a world of big fishes. I've learned what it's like to work in an environment where people don't always do what they say that they're going to do, or there's a lot of mistakes and there's a lot of challenges. And it's really been something that's added definitely a few gray hairs in a few years to my life. And so as I opened the boxes, all I kept thinking was, please let this be okay and please help me to move to the next spot. And once I realized it was okay, then the next stomach ache was when I talked to my advisor and he said to me very clearly, and he's the best, he said, I hope you're ready because this is real now. And that's the truth, it's real. I'm sitting on all this inventory, I've got this gorgeous product, but the real question is, who is going to buy it? And that's what keeps me awake at night. Who, other than my family and friends, is going to buy Sahajan? And so the best way in my mind for me to get people to buy Sahajan is by exposing them to it. And one of the first ideas that came to my mind a number of months ago was to be at TIFF, which is the Toronto International Film Festival. And for us Torontonians who think we're the center of the world, we think it's the best film festival ever, but it's a pretty big one in the grand scheme of things. And so what sounds really neat, or it sounds really neat to me and what people have been telling me sounds super cool, is that we're going to be in one of the gifting lounges that happens during TIFF. Now what does that look like? It means that there's going to be a media day where the media gets to say, you know, here's what the stars are getting in their swag bags. It means that there's going to be an opportunity for me along with other brands who are all clamoring to get their brands into the hands of stars. Who do I want to come by? Let's be honest. I hope somebody comes by. I would love for like a Mindy Kaling who I think is so cool, Beyonce, Gwyneth Paltrow, you name it. If somebody could get their hands on Sahajin and see the beauty in the product and see the beauty in what it stands for, that would be my dream come true. But if you had told me a number of months ago that my product would be in the gifting lounge at TIFF, I wouldn't have believed it. And the reality is these things seem so far away. But I had a, another marketing partner who said to me about a year ago, you need to get somebody in PR, public relations. And so I took the advice and I went home and I was like, how am I going to do that? And I literally Googled public relations Toronto. And after I got about a million websites, I thought, okay, I need to do this a little bit better. I need to be a bit more thoughtful with my process. So I started asking around, who did people know? What should I be doing? And then I finally got the brainwave to look at some great Toronto brands who are super successful and who are the PR partners that are supporting them. And from that list, I was able to identify an amazing partner who's really helping me and supporting me through the launch of Sahajan. And what I can tell you is if you've got a great partner, a great story, and a great brand, it's not as hard as you think to get into these neat things like gifting lounges. It sounds super cool, but you can do it. Don't get me wrong, you've got to pay to play. I'm paying to be there. But if you have the right people to navigate you, it's absolutely doable. So do you want to know what the stars are getting? I'm going to show it to you. Yes, I keep it here in my kitchen. And so here's what I want to show you is a little bit of the product that I'm going to be sharing with the stars. The first is the Sahajan Protective Face Serum. So why did I choose it for the stars? Is because it's an awesome, I think it's a miracle in a bottle. It's a beautiful organic face serum. It's got great Ayurvedic ingredients all about brightening and antioxidants and 
all these cool things, but interesting ingredients that you wouldn't have seen before. And I'm very confident in this product. I know it's a great luxe product. And hopefully they'll buy into it and they'll see the beauty behind it. And then I decided to pick the Ritual Body Oil to go along with it. So they're getting this in one nice little gift pack. The reason for the body oil, again, beautiful product, organic oils, coconut, almond, sesame, all rolled into one with a few other oils there. It smells great, goes on the skin great, but for, in my mind, a star who has access to anything, these are kind of neat products to try and get a sense of what Sahajan's all about. So here's what I want to tell you and share with you in terms of what I've learned over the last couple of weeks. The first is, is sometimes you hit a milestone and it doesn't feel exactly how you thought it would, but that's okay. Still pause, still be grateful in the moment because it's a huge milestone and a lot of work went into being there. And even though there's a huge road ahead, you actually got to a place that you never thought you would and took so much to get there. So enjoy it, breathe into the moment. My second piece of advice is, I remember sharing with my friends and even telling potential retailers, we're gonna be premiering the product during the film festival. And they said, oh my gosh, how did you do that? And so what I can tell you is, these things are easier than you think. They're more accessible than you think. As long as you have the right team around you, you've shored up the right partners who can help you along your journey. That's exactly what you need to get you started anywhere. So stay tuned. You are going to see me uh, in a couple weeks where I give you the behind the scenes in terms of what's going on at the gifting lounge. I'll show you what it looks like. Maybe I'll give you a little bit of tidbits in terms of who's come by and what it's been like for me so far. If you haven't caught my first video, check it out. I would love for you to be part of the Sahajan story and I'd love to hear what you think. Thank you so much.